by you I'll be your everything Your blue sky professional step that show i am your host franco zavala episode 66 before i go any further if you have not please like subscribe share itunes youtube soundcloud spotify um, i would love to hear your questions your answers your comments um, i'm so incredibly grateful for the people that have subscribed to the show so far one step at a time one stepdad at a time we are going to change the narrative around what it means to be a stepdad to be a man, to be a leader, to be a mentor, to be an individual that can step into a situation that most people would run from and win. So with that being said, today's episode is gonna be about the hard choices that we have to make. Sometimes it's the individual choices. Sometimes it's the choices we have to make when it comes to um, our family members, when it comes to the decisions and opportunities or obligations that we had outside of the new family that we find ourselves in. And we have to come back to the reasons why we're there in the first place. So I received a message yesterday during Father's Day. Happy Father's Day, everyone. From, um, from a, a woman that, that has three children and bow dad's in the picture, joint custody. She's in love with another man. And she's wanting to define the relationship. Where are we? What do you want? And his answer is, I'm scared, which is a, which is a, it's a, it's an okay answer by mom. It's a hundred percent. Okay. Answer. Most of us are scared. If not all of us are shit scared about the new venture, the new journey that we're about to embark on. And when we, when we are faced with those, with this opportunity, when we are faced with, like, can you define the relationship? Where do you want to go? Are you okay with my kids? You know, maybe the, the boyfriend wants his own kids and, and he feels maybe he's a little bit overwhelmed. Whatever it might be. Whatever it might be. The, importance to rem the important thing to remember is this. Is that he's afraid. And he's afraid for a good reason. She's afraid because she's protecting her heart. And she is, you know, bio mom's, a bio mom's heart, a woman that has split up with bio dad, who is looking for love and is about to accept a new man into the home and then to her, you know, to introduce them, him to her, her children. It's a heart not to be messed with. And I would never, I would never recommend that to anybody. Don't feel like it's some sort of an easy decision for her men, because it's not, I mean, she's not only has to trust you, but she has to trust you around the kids and she's got to feel comfortable and she's, she's got to know that you're the one. So when she asks you questions like, where are we? Can you define us? What do you want? And your answer is, I'm scared. Again, valid answer, but it's a coward's answer because you are, you are focusing so much on the obligations that you're forgetting the opportunities. And I want to say that again. If you're, if you're a gentleman that is about to step into a new family and you're afraid and you're afraid to pull the trigger, you're afraid to go all in, it's because you are focused on the obligations. Like the obligations of taking on three kids that are not yours. They're wanting kids later on down the road. A huge family. How am I going to make the money? Where are we going to live? All this stuff. You're so focused on the end that you're not focusing on the right now. So my own mom asked me, she, she, she asked me a question that concerns with like, we've, he, we, she, I've introduced him to my, my kids a couple of times and um, he just keeps seeing me scared. And we've kind of been going off and on for the last few months and there's no real like direction that they're going. And I wish that I had the, this answer that is gonna just solve all your problems, but I don't. And the reason I don't is because I can tell you 100% of the time, every single time, the reason that you're confused bio mom, the reason that he's scared bio mom is because your communication between one another is not open enough to where you both feel comfortable to move forward. You have not, sat down and fully got to understand and know one another and set these goals and these these um, benchmarks that you want to hit in your relationship that have nothing to do with outside the children with your relationship bio mom your heart you're protecting your heart and you're wanting to let a new man in and 
I understand that that's not easy, but if you're not constantly working on yourself, you are going to consistently judge him based off of the bio dad or other men that were in your life. Potential stepdad coming into a relationship. You're scared. Yeah, they're not your children. Yes, you want kids of your own. But don't look at the whole situation as some huge obligation. Look at it as an opportunity to grow. Look at it as an opportunity to connect. Look at it as an opportunity to change the narrative around where their life may have gone or could have gone. I mean, you could be such a positive light in this family. And I'm not saying that there's some sort of negative in in this situation that I'm talking about. I'm just saying you can be this, this breath of refreshing air, but you won't be able to do that. If you're constantly looking at this as an obligation and not opportunities, then you're going to be scared and you're not going to want to pull the trigger. And bio mom, just so you know, and he, there's something he won't tell you because again, your communication is down the, you know, it's not where it needs to be. He is being, um, what do you call it? The opinions of others, the people that are in his life are influencing his decisions. There are probably one or two or three or maybe even a hundred times where he's like, I'm all in. But somebody in his life, somebody is influencing his decisions to the point where he's got that one foot out the door mentality. Now, is that his fault? Yes and no. No, it's not his fault because this is his inherited DNA. This is the kind of person that he is. If he's scared to take on this opportunity, that means he's not, he doesn't pull the trigger on others. He's constantly looking for the validation from others as opposed to just kind of believing in himself and his worth. Um, and if you both have not made the decision to better yourselves first, if you have both not made the decision to better your relationship first, then the bio kids is not going to matter. They're not going to matter. None of it's going to matter because he's never going to be fully in and you're never going to fully trust him. That's it. You have to build this team around your family. The kids are the players in this game. You guys are the GMs. You guys are the owners. And if you're not running your organization correctly, again, none of it's going to matter. Trust, scarcity, um, opportunities versus obligations, the opinions of others, all of this, it's not going to matter. So when you're asking bio mom, you ask me, and the reason I'm making this episode is to definitely answer you, bio mom. You asked me, what should I do? He keeps saying he's scared. He keeps, he's not defining the relationship. We will define our relationship with an individual that we love. We will define our relationship when we know where we're going. Think about what I'm saying. If he's scared and he can't define the relationship is because he can't see himself with you yet. Why? What's going on? What kind of communication you have? Do you know each other's love languages? How are you talking to one another? Can you see him through eyes that are that can trust as opposed to seeing him through the, the eyes that you normally have, which is scarcity and like, I don't know if I can trust this guy. Or it's, I know you think that it's about the children. I know you think it's about bio kids. I know you think that maybe he's overwhelmed by the fact that he could have some a huge family. He wants two kids, you have three. But it's not that. Because when we see ourselves with mom, when we see ourselves future with mom, when we see ourselves getting better as a man with you on our side and, 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 and him by your side, as this strong rock, this team, everything else kind of falls into place. And I say that because... When we say things like, I'm scared, or I don't know, you know, I'm really just afraid that I'm afraid, I just, I'm afraid, or I don't know what's going to happen. I mean, I want kids someday. And I mean, there's just a lot of, there's a lot going on here. There's a lot to deal with. So you see what's happening is, is, is that he's focusing so much on the obstacles that he's forgetting to see the opportunity. It's like what we do in business or what we do with our health or, you know, we have this goal that we set. And we focus so much on the obstacles along the way that we never get to our goal. So my answer to you, bio mom, is this. He's scared. That's okay. Embrace that. There's nothing, there's nothing wrong with being scared. But he's not scared because you have three kids. He's scared because he doesn't know 
where he stands with you yet. He doesn't know where he stands with them. He doesn't know where he stands as a man. Can he do it? Should he do it? He's being influenced by outside, um, by, by outside advice. And that, that advice that is being told to him behind closed doors without you there is influencing his decisions or better yet, his non-decisions on how to move forward with you. So if you really want to get to a point to win, hell, just to, just to kind of get like a, a measurement on where you are, I highly recommend that you both sit down, take a day, get a babysitter, or actually you said it yourself, kids are with, are with bio dad 50% of the time. So when they're gone, you two sit down and map out a relationship. Talk about your future. Discuss how you can do things together as a team. I highly recommend that you both on your personal times start working on you. You bio mom is your trust. Him, it's his fears. Fear of being his dad maybe, or maybe he's wants to make sure that he doesn't screw somebody's life up. I mean, there's so many what ifs in our heads as stepdads, like we don't wanna make the mistake we don't want to always be walking on eggshells. We don't always want to feel like we're the, you know, the, the, the third wheel on a date. We want to be valued and understood. And we want to know that, that the kids see us as a figure in their life that they can depend on and they can come to and not just see us as some other guy that's in the house. These are things that we deal with in our heads. This is before we even step into relationships. So I don't doubt that you love each other. But I doubt that you're not communicating properly with one another. I know you're not, because if you were, you would know the answers to this. Listen, this is important to understand. Except that you listen too. I understand how proud you are as a man. You don't want to open up your, your feelings. You don't want to talk about this crap. You're a man, right? Bullshit. Let that go. It has nothing to do with you. It has everything to do with the both of you, your team. By my mom, it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough to get him to open up. But when he does, he will. When he feels comfortable, he will. So you have to start laying that foundation for your team before anything. Lay the foundation. And when you can get to a point where, where you guys see each other, like you have each other's back, almost like you're a, a, like a, a really great duo in a movie, you guys can take on anything. There will be no can we or I'm scared to's because you will feel so comfortable around one another. You will be so committed. You will have this sense of like purpose and you will know you will you will know the why right for your relationship that you could take on anyhow i guess you could say it's easier said than done because you both have to be willing to let go of who you were to become where you who you want to be but the worst thing you can do bio mom is assume that he doesn't love you or assume that he doesn't want to be there don't assume anything As a matter of fact don't assume anything anymore from here on out until you both can sit down and talk, until you both can map out, like goal plan your relationship. Here we are, here's where we wanna be. If we wanna add two more kids into the scenario, this is what will have to happen. And let's figure out how we can do this as a team. Because here's the thing, <clears throat> if you're both working on each other, meaning you're both working on yourselves, and then you work together as a team, and that team becomes strong and unbreakable, right? then you guys will feel like you can conquer anything together. You're probably great as individuals. You're a great mom. He's a, he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a man that's stepping in. He's about to step into a family with three kids already. That says a lot about who he is, that he's even thinking about it because most men would have ran a long time ago. We see this on movies. It's, you know, we see this, you know, where a, a woman will be newly divorced, going out to a nightclub and she's talking to a guy and then all of a sudden she'll say, oh, I've got three kids. And then the whole scene changes. He's like, oh, and then he walk away or make an excuse to leave. So the fact that he's there says a lot about him. Build more on that. Trust that. Trust each other is big. But the hard choices that we have to make are letting go of outside influences. We have to make the hard choice to not listen to the stupidity and ignorance of others who have no idea what you're going through, but think they do because they heard some podcast or, or maybe they went through it, it didn't work out for them and now they're gonna let you know how it didn't work out and why you shouldn't do it. I mean, there's so much that can go against you here. The hard choices you have to make are, are blocking out the outside forces that are trying to take you down. The hard choices you have to make bio mom is 
Do you love him? Do you trust him? Answer that question. Do you love him? Do you trust him? If the answers are yes and yes, then move forward with that in your head. Move forward with that without assuming one thing or the other. And then it'll work out. But here's the thing. It'll work out the way it's supposed to work out. Meaning if he's scared and he's unwilling to work on himself by mom, and he doesn't see the importance of working on the team before, you know, before the children involvement and, and building this strong family, if he doesn't see the importance of that, then, then let him go. I mean, again, be willing to let go of something of a lesser value to obtain something of a greater value. The hard choices that we make are being able to, are being aware of what that lesser value item is. Sometimes it's a person, sometimes it's a thing, sometimes it's an opportunity, but we have to be aware of it. How do we become aware of it? By working on ourselves, by working on the person that we want to be with, understanding who they are, figuring out why they are who they are. When you can do that, you can move forward, step by step, inch by inch. The reason that we are referred to as step parents or step dads is because we take one step forward at a time and they are calculated steps we can't run during this we run we lose calculated steps so i hope that helps bio mom because i know you're looking for a like a or maybe you're not i don't know but most people are just looking for that one answer fix all my problems type thing and my answer to you was very much filled with you have to start doing work and it's what that's what it's going to take. And those are the hard choices that you make. Hard choices. Allowing him to see opportunity where there's where he thinks there's just full of obligations. And that's why he's scared. And also, and I'm not afraid to admit this either. I could be way off here. Maybe he's scared because he's a dog and he doesn't love you. Or maybe he's scared because he doesn't think he can give you what you need. Hey, bio mom, just real quick. Maybe he's scared because you are overwhelming him. Knock that shit off. Okay, if he's there, if we're here, don't overwhelm us. Allow us to take steps forward. We can't just jump into this thing because we there are way more obligations, meaning like there are way more ways for this thing to go wrong on our end than your end. You're bio mom, we're stepdad. We, we're blamed, you're forgiven. So relax, take a step back. Bio mom, it's not about you. It's not about your children. It's not about bio dad. It's not even about like him unable, being able to not, him unable to define the relationship. It's not about that either. He's scared for a reason. Why? Why is he scared? Have you talked about it? Have you sat down and discussed it? Have you laid it out? If you can do this, I can promise you that you will find answers that you were looking for. If you can do this. And you can do this, but be patient. Hard choices that we make. Or is it opportunity versus obligation, obligation versus opportunity? It's, it's all mixed in. Anyway. All right, this is episode 66 of the Professional Stepdad Show. I am your host, Frank Zavala. Thank you very much for joining me. Bio Mom, again, I have not put your name up or anything on here because I believe it's important to keep your business, your business. But the question was, was a good one because it's coming from the opposite side of the coin. It's coming from the bio mom side, not the stepdad side. And I love that. Um, until next time, guys, see you soon. Thank you, everybody.